Hi guys, good evening. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Marlon, Catherine, Hazel. Welcome to the class. Good to see you here. How are you today, guys? Feeling good? Hello, very good. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. Hello, Monica. Welcome to the class. Nice to meet you guys. My name is Evelyn, Evelyn Marinero. I, I sent a message by WhatsApp in the morning, right? So I'm going to be your teacher <coughs> in the next classes. And if you don't understand the class, if you have a question, please let me know. Pues mucho gusto de tenerlos a todos. Poco a poco nos iremos conociendo un poco más, ¿verdad? A lo largo de las clases. Mi nombre es Evelyn Marinero y cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? En un caso no entiendan la clase, tengan una duda, por favor pregunten, ¿ok? Y yo con mucho gusto les voy a ayudar. If it's possible, please activate the cameras. Este, no sé si todos podemos activar las cámaras para que podamos dar inicio a la clase. And that way I can see your faces. Así me va a ser más fácil conectar su nombre. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Wendy. Hello, Marlon. And we will wait for Monica. Hello. Okay, guys. So let's begin. Please choose one number from one, two, three. Escojan un número entre el uno y el tres. You can send it in the chat. Send your number by chat. A number from one to three. Cualquiera de esos. One, two, or three. Okay, Lisette, Catherine, Hazel, Wendy, ready? Marlon, Monica. Okay, we're missing Monica and Yolanda. Okay, so it is simple. You have to tell me the number of things that you selected. Como no nos conocemos, ¿verdad? De, dependiendo del número, me van a decir tantas cosas sobre ustedes. For example, Lisette, two things. Two things about you. Eh, Catherine, two. Wendy, three things about you. It could be anything, anything you want to. Lo que ustedes quieran. I'm going to give you a minute and then we start. Les voy a dar un minuto para que ordenen sus ideas, lo piensen y luego comenzamos. Vamos a empezar con Hazel in one minute. Ok. And Mónica, what is your number, Mónica? Hi, Fátima, welcome. Oscar. Welcome to the class. Good evening. Hello, Oscar. Good to have Hello. you here. Thank you. Okay. Hazel, ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Hello, everybody. My name is Hazel Del Cid. I have 36 years old. I live in Ilopango City. And I really happy because I'm here with you. Okay, thank you very much, Hazel. Nice to meet you too. Okay, now Hazel, choose the next person. Escoja la siguiente persona, Hazel. You okay. have the participants out too. Uh, Fatima Estrada. Fatima. Okay, hello, Fatima. Hello, teacher. I don't see your number here tell us two things about you please hello my name is fatima estrada i is my favorite thing i barely hear you fatima la escucho bien lejos i don't know if it's the microphone Is my favorite color is green. Green. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Excellent, Fatima. Thank you. Who is next, Fatima? 
aquí. Katherine Reyes. Katherine. Ok, Katherine. Thank you, Fátima. Ok, uh, my name is Katherine Marlene Parada Reyes. I am 27 years old and all that. <laughs> ok, yeah, only two, right? Only two. So, ok, <laughs> Katherine, who is next? We still have Eric, Wendy, uh, Monica. Eh, Marlon Barrientos. Marlon. Ok, Marlon. Tell us about you. Hello, good, good evening. My name is Marlon, Marlon Barrientos. I am 24 years old. Um, I live in Huachapan City. I only... <laughs> Just that. Okay, Marlon. Nice yes. to meet you. Who is next, Marlon? Nice to meet you. Mm, Lisette Castillo. Lisette. Okay, thank you. Okay, Lisette, tell us about you, please. Good evening. My name is Lisette Castillo. I, I am... I live in, in Lovasco. I am 33 years old and I have a family, our three members. Uh -huh. Only that? O only. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lisa. Thank you. Well, I'm going to choose the next person. Let's listen to Wendy. Can you continue, Wendy, please? Okay, good evening. My name is Wendy and I am 32 years old. And the two things is my favorite food is the Mexican food. Mm, yeah, I love Mexican food, tacos. <laughs> yes, burritos, I like Burrito. it. <laughs> yeah, delicious. <laughs> ah, okay, uh, do you have something else to say or just that? Yes, that. <laughs> Only that. Okay, Wendy, yes. good to have you in the class. Nice to meet Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Let's listen to Monica. Monica, please continue. My name is I don't know why you were breaking up. Se estaba cortando, Monica. I couldn't hear you. I don't know if it's the microphone or the connection. My name is Monica Escobar. I am 20 years old. I am from Ciudad Arce. Ah, okay, now I hear you. Very, very clear. Okay, and we still have time to listen to another person, uh, Kelia, right? Kelia, can you tell us two things about you? Okay, hello, my name is Kelia Osorio and I am 30, 36 years old and I live in Soyapango and I have mm. the, the new class. Yes, me too, me too to have you over here. Okay, thank you, Kelia. Tomorrow we will continue with the activity and we are going to listen to to some of you, to the others. Okay, guys, today the class is about frequency words. We are going to learn about frequency words. This is what we are going to study. Eso es lo que vamos a, a estudiar, frequency words, okay? Different words, okay, words that indicate frequency, okay, the regularity of the activities. Palabras que podemos utilizar para explicar, eh, perdón, para expresar frecuencia, okay, to indicate frequency. Do you have some, some ideas, Oscar? Do you have some, some ideas in mind? 
Uh, yes, I, I have uh, uh, almost uh, just uh, another uh, uh, maybe always uh -huh. almost uh, frequency frequently frequency uh, yes uh, I, I don't remember another no more but yes you have the idea those words express frequency or regularity thank you Oscar what about you Marlon do you have other ideas? Frequency words. No teacher. No, okay, that's okay. I'm going to share with you a presentation. I'm going to share with you some. One moment. Okay. As you can see, we have different frequency expression. I'm going to give you the pronunciation and then we will listen to, to one of you. Lo voy a leer yo primero y luego escuchamos algunos de ustedes. Always, usually, okay? And here you have the frequency. Normally, often, sometimes, sometimes, Occasionally, occasionally, seldom, seldom, hardly ever, hardly ever, or rarely, rarely, never, okay, never. Now let's listen to Heidi. Hello, Heidi. Nice to see you. Please repeat, Heidi. Por favor, repítalas. Please repeat. Okay. Always, usually, normally, often, sometimes, occasionally, shallow, occasionally. hardly ever, hardly rarely. Mm -hmm. Never. Yes. And never. Okay, good pronunciation, Heidi. Very well. Only one, only one uh, change. Thank Occasionally. You. Just that one. Okay. Occasionally. Occasionally. Yes, correct. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Now, <clears throat> you have to mention the word after the subject. Vamos a colocar estas palabras luego del sujeto. Vamos a observar unos ejemplos. But that is the position, okay? After the subject, we mention the, the frequency word. In English, lo vamos a colocar así. Luego que mencionamos el sujeto, vamos a poner la frecuencia that you need. Okay, let's listen first to Guillermo. Hello, Guillermo. Can you read example number one with always, please? Sure, um, I always get up at five o'clock. Excellent, thank you. And you, Guillermo, what time do you wake up? Well, I wake up, wake up at, I don't know, remember. It's, it's <laughs> occasionally because I uh, change every day my, uh, my it's time, flexible. for example. Yeah, it's flexible. Uh, for example, Monday to Friday, I get up at, 5 a.m. Mm. But in the in the weekends, uh, I change that because I get up get up sorry, uh, 10 a.m., 9 a.m., um, and 4 uh, a.m. Okay, that's a big change. So it depends. It yeah. depends on the day. Okay, Guillermo. Yeah. Thank you. Now let's You're listen welcome. to Vanessa Ramirez. We have two Vanessas, right? Okay, so Vanessa Ramirez and Vanessa Rivera. Vanessa Ramirez, example number two, please. Are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. And he usually drives to work. Perfect. Thank you, Vanny. Now let's listen to Vanessa Rivera. Okay. Number three, Vanny. 
She, she normally mm -hmm. checks her email. Email. Mm -hmm. Email. Thank you. Thank you very much. Correct. Now, Angelica, can you continue, please? I often have breakfast at work. Okay, thank you, Angelica. And remember the position, guys. Remember the position. Subject, and later we mention the frequency expression. That's the position. Thank you, Angelica. Now let's continue with Fernando. Next one, Fer. Okay. She uh, sometimes. She sometimes uses the microwave. Thank you. Microwave. That's the, the right way to say it. Microwave. Uh, microwave. Mm -hmm. Now, Yolanda. Next one, Yolanda. Uh, good evening. Uh, Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, I occasionally work overtime. Correct. Thank you, Yolanda. Now, Hazel, please continue. We seldom take calls at work. Correct. Thank you, Hazel. And the last one, Fatima. Well, the next one, Fatima. Okay, you can read that one. I never. I never get late. Get late. Uh huh. To work. Thank you. We're just missing one. Are you there, Eric? Eric Ramirez? Good evening. Hello, Eric. He rarely, ha he rarely ah. has conferenced. Conferences. Okay, thank you, Eric. Guys, do you want to ask a question in this moment? Questions or comments for me at the moment? Preguntas, dudas? Lisette? Solo, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Mic micro? Microwave. Microwave. That's the Thank pronunciation. You. You're welcome. Or questions about the vocabulary? No sé si tienen alguna pregunta del vocabulary. Catherine? Eh, what does it mean seldom? Seldom. Seldom, it's like, like casi nunca, or like raramente, that would be like the meaning. Seldom and hardly ever are very similar. Son muy parecidos. Solo el porcentaje si nota es un poquito distinto. Oh, and just, just one comment. Para preguntar, podría decir, what does seldom mean? That will be the, the right elaboration, Catherine. I, I send it by chat. Okay, guys. So let's continue. Let's continue here. So remember, I can say, please set, and now the frequency expression, always, Always goes to the supermarket. Okay, that's the way it goes. The person, and then you mention the frequency word. Can you send me two examples, please, by chat about you, about the frequency of two activities in your case? Podrían enviarme ahí by chat dos ejemplos sobre ustedes utilizando two frequency words. I'm going to give you a, a moment.
Okay, Lizette, uh -huh, my husband works, works in the bank. It's correct, Lizette, pero agreguemos el frequency expression, always, never. Sí, sí. <laughs> so just Don't that change. Lo estaba corrigiendo. <laughs> Ah, ah, ok. En husband le voy a enviar el correct spelling ahí by chat. Quedaría así, okay. husband. Ok, thank you. Then, ah, okay. I always get up at six o'clock. I often drive to work, correct. I sometimes drink milk in the morning. Ajá, Guillermo, I always brush my teeth, correct. My wife seldom gets, Guillermo, with the S. Only at that gets up at 5 a.m. Then Oscar, I always drink coffee in the morning, correct. And then Hazel, I usually get up at six o'clock, uh -huh, correct. Take my breakfast before go to work. Then Monica, correct, good job. Fatima, excellent, Fatima. I often eat, Fatima, eat pizza. Then Angelica, I usually get up at six o'clock, 6.30. Ah, uh -huh. and sometimes I work from six, six, I'm sorry, from eight to six. We're going, we're going well. Please continue sending them. Ahí continúen las poniéndolas y yo las voy a seguir revisando. There are two exceptions of this rule, okay? We have two exceptions. Two exceptions or exception for the rule. Okay, we mentioned that we place the frequency word after the subject, right? Hemos mencionado la posición donde tenemos que poner la palabra. But we have two exceptions. Sometimes, and usually, have two positions. Okay, there are two options. For usually and sometimes. For example, okay, let's see. Fer, can you... Think about one sentence with sometimes, an activity you sometimes do, Fesh. One idea. Sometimes I practice uh, some sports. Uh -huh. Okay. Oscar sometimes practices. Play basketball. Ah, okay. Sometimes plays basketball, you said, right? Yes. Not soccer, basketball. Basketball. Okay, that's cool. So this is the normal position, the traditional position. Option one or option two, sometimes at the beginning here. Sometimes Oscar plays basketball. Okay, now the position change, okay? Two options, two alternatives with sometimes and usually. And now, usually, one example, Wendy, about you, an activity you usually do. Uh, for example, I usually get up at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm, correct, uh, thank you. And I have a breakfast usually. <laughs> at 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. <laughs> at 9, around 9 a.m. Yes. I'm going to say around 9 a.m. Okay, so this is one option, right? And yes. option number two, guys, we put it at the beginning. That's the other one. Usually, okay, usually, Wendy has breakfast around 9 a.m., okay? Again, I repeat, you have two positions, and that's okay, only with those two. Questions? 
comments and I will I will read your comments in a moment. Y los que no he leído, los voy a leer in, in one moment. So questions for me? No? Okay, so guys, remember these are frequency words. Estas son palabras. Pero también tenemos expressions, expresiones. Frequency words. Ahora vamos con frequency expressions. We place them at the beginning or at the end. Estas expresiones las vamos a colocar al principio o al final de la oración. No van en medio, not in the middle. At the end or at the beginning. I have some examples here. Vamos a ver los Simpsons. And you're going to see different examples, okay? Let's begin with number one. Can you help us, Lisette? Number one. I play the saxophone five times a week. A week. Thank you, Lisette. Okay, this is the frequency expression five times a week. Or, guys, option one, a different option. Five times a week, I play the saxophone. Do you remember the meaning of times? Si ¿Sí recuerdan todos el significado de times? Or do yes. you have questions? You do, Oscar. Questions about times? No. Hazel? Sería veces. Uh -huh. The but repetition, veces. correct. So five times. It could be four, five, uh, four times a week, a month. We change. We can change the, the phrase. Next. Okay, Catherine, can you continue, please? Okay. I go to the cinema once a month. Uh-huh. Thank you. Once is only one time. That is the meaning of once. Only one time in the month. Okay, thank you, Catherine. Number three. Can you continue, Alfredo, please? Yes. I don't drink alcohol. Alcohol. Mm -hmm. Alcohol. Thank you, Alfredo. Okay, so we don't do it at all. Here you have some options. Okay, aquí les doy una lista de options. Different frequency expressions. For example, every other, and then you have different options. Every other. I'm going to explain in English, and then if you need in Spanish. Every other day is one day you do it, one day you don't do it. That is the meaning of every other day. One day you do, one day you don't. So every other day es como un día sí, un día no. Okay, eso es lo que significa every other. I wash my hair every other day. Okay, so that is, and if you wish, you can change the time word. Y ya si ustedes desean, cambian su time word. Puede ser every other day, or it could be every other week, every other month, every other year, etc. Several, many are the same. Several and many son sinónimos. Significa a lot, right? Muchas, muchas veces. Okay. Can you tell me something you do several times? A day, una actividad que hagan muchas veces en el día. Who has an idea? I drink water. You drink a lot of water. Several. Uh -huh. Can you say it, Hazel? I drink water. Several mm -hmm. times. Times a day. Correct. Thank you. Did you have a comment, Oscar? Uh, another example mm -hmm. is several times a day I use my phone. Correct. Uh -huh. My cell phone. Yes. Or several times a day I send messages. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, thank you guys. And remember, you can change the last words. Si ustedes desean, pueden cambiar la palabra. Okay, estamos hablando de expresiones para indicar tiempo. Las colocamos al principio o al final de la oración y pueden variar, ¿verdad? Depende de la frecuencia de su actividad. From time to time, that is another expression. From time to time, es como una vez, como de vez en cuando, from time to time, okay? I do exercise from time to time, or from time to time, I do exercise. I'm going to send it in the chat. From time to time, I do exercise, okay? And once in a while, una vez al tiempo, okay? For example, she goes to the beach once in a while. Or once in a while, she goes to the beach, okay? You choose the, the expression you want to. Okay, comments or questions? Is there something that is not clear right now? We're going to practice. Vamos a practicar, okay? Vamos a practicar en los siguientes minutos. Pero hay algo que no entendamos bien aún, que no esté claro? Something that is not clear? No? Okay, let's begin. Vamos a empezar a practicar un poquito. Okay. Uh, one moment. Okay. You have one sentence and you have to choose, you have to choose the, the word. We have different ways to say the same idea. You can use frequency words or frequency expressions. In this case, I play the saxophone five times a week. Which frequency word will you choose? Which frequency word will be the best choice, the best option? Always. Um, usually. For you, usually, uh -huh, usually will be uh -huh, the best option. Usually, thank you. Can you send me one example by chat, please? And I'm going to read your examples. Oh, and guys, are all of you in the group? Están todos en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ya están todos ahí. Or is there someone who is not? Hay alguien que falte. No, no one. Okay, voy a enviarles algo ahí al, al chat uh, de WhatsApp. Yes, sure. Guillermo, no está todavía. No, okay, no Guillermo. está ahí. Voy a enviar me, aquí. Me either. Voy a enviar el link. It's okay. in the chat. Just click on it and it will take you to, to the group. <laughs> and I'm going to send a document. Give me one second. <clears throat> okay, so I sent a document by WhatsApp, this is the document. You're going to work in, in groups and you have to complete the exercise. You have to use frequency words. You have the words over here, just for you to remember, and you have to complete it. For example, number one, my brother is never sad. His, which is the best choice? Always. Always, happy. Always, Always. right? Always. Because of the context. Entonces, leen el contexto y deciden. The appropriate 
time, the, the appropriate word. Questions about the activity? Alguna duda del activity? No. Okay, I'm going to create the rooms. I'm going to create the rooms and then we will start. Um, okay, please accept the invite. ¿Quién está con...? Si gusta, la voy anotando yo acá. ¿Aquí en la pantalla? Ah, si alguien está compartiendo, no sé. Hi, no podría anotar. Sorry to Hi. interrupt. How are you doing? Do you need help? Do you have questions? In this moment, no, teacher. No, everything is okay. It's yes. okay. Ah, okay, yes. perfect. Thank okay, you. I'm going to let you continue in that case. See you in one moment. Goodbye. Hi, guys. Hi, Sorry teacher. to interrupt. Hi, I'm just checking on you. Solo venía a visitarlos. A ver qué tal iban. Do you need help or questions? Um, no. Easy, right? Very easy. <laughs> okay. Okay, in that case, I'm going to let you continue. Entonces me voy a marchar, las voy a dejar aquí a que sigan, okay? If you need okay. me, you can hit the help button. Si no, ahí hay un botón y, y yo regreso acá. Okay, okay, see you. Thank you. Hi, Hi, Catherine. Hi. How are you doing? Do you need help? Um, the moment, no. Bueno, tenemos una dudita con la de number three. Number yeah. three, uh -huh. yeah. uh, is correct the Holly ever? Which one? Number four or three? Uh, three. No. Number three. Yes. And which one do you want to use? Uh, Holly ever? No. No, it, no, it's not the one. Because it says that, that Mary only failed, solo falló, one test. Uh -huh. She passed her tests. Si solo lo falla una vez y luego si los pasa. Which one? Ah, uh, usually. Uh -huh. Usually, she usually, yeah. she usually the passes our test. Ah, okay. Correct. That will be the one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have other questions uh, for me? In this in this moment, no. No more questions. No. Okay. No. All right. I'm going to let you continue. In that case, see you in one moment. Goodbye. Thank you. She hardly yeah. ever. Uh huh. She, she hardly ever. She hardly ever. Six. Hi guys. How's everything Hi. going? Do you need help? Uh. Um. So. No, 
And Guillermo. Uh, only, only have one question. Uh -huh. We have um, nine, nine adverbs of frequency and we have nine questions or, or statements. And we only well, only need to, to use only one or no. we can use uh, one for three or for two mm -hmm. statements. Yes, it's, it's you, okay. can, you can repeat. Yes, ah, okay. it's okay to repeat. Uh, other questions, Lisette or Marlon? Mm -hmm. mm. The ocean three. Uh -huh. Mary fell only one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. She but, fell. She didn't pass it. Uh, uh, usually. Yes. She is usually correct. passed uh -huh, her tests. Yes, Lisette. It's correct. It is correct. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. And Marlon? Mm, I don't have question teacher. No, okay. And which one are you no. doing right now? Are you done? Have you finished? In the seven. Number seven, okay. In two minutes, Number seven. we're going to return to the main session, guys, in about two minutes. So try to okay. try to finish. Okay. See you in okay. one moment. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you finish. Guys, we are going to check the answers right now. We will solve everything together and then we will check if we all have the same. Vamos a, a solucionar todos los ejercicios ahora juntos. Vamos a revisar las respuestas y vamos a ver si todos tenemos lo, lo mismo. If you have questions, let me know. We will start with group number one, Guillermo, Lisette, and Marlon. Um, Guillermo, number one. I'm sorry, number two. I was late. Hardly ever. Can, can you read the whole sentence, please? Oh, so sorry. I was late for work only one time last year. I'm hardly ever late. I hardly ever 
late. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That would be a good option. Hardly ever. Or seldom, right, would be a, another possibility. Thank you, Guillermo. Good job. Now let's continue with group number two. Catherine, could you help us, please? What do you guys have in number three? Okay, Mary failed only one test in high school. She usually passed her test. Usually. Thank you, Catherine. That's the one. Comments or questions right now for me? No. Okay. Let's continue with Vane, Vanessa Carolina. Number four, Vane. I always remember to do my homework always. I always. Uh -huh. Always. Okay. Another possibility. It says forget, olvidar hacerla. Forget For, to do. Forget to do it. Uh -huh. Hello. I never. I never, never forget never. to never. do it. Yes, never forget to do it. Thank you, guys. Now, group number four. Let's listen to Alfredo. Alfredo, number five. Okay, number five. Steven Sheldon goes to a cinema. Mm -hmm. He rarely she movies. He rarely. Uh huh. That could be one. He rarely see movies. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now group number five, Kelia. What do you think? Number six. Um, number six, hardly ever. The whole sentence. Mm -hmm. Judy, Judy saw a doctor for the first time in three years. She hardly ever gets sick. Mm -hmm. It could be one or she seldom, she rarely. Correct. Those could be other options. So she hardly ever gets sick. Thank you, Kelia. Now, Eric, group number six. What do you think about number seven? Um, I get up at five o'clock, seven days a week. I always get up early. Mm -hmm. I always. Thank you, Eric. Now, group number one again, Lisette. Number eight. Are you there, Lisette? Ah, okay. It's always hot and sunny where mm -hmm. I live. That's why I never see the snow. I never, yes. And live, Lisette, that's the, the right pronunciation, live. But thank you. And live. then let's listen to Wendy. Wendy, number nine, do you have it? And do you? Do you ever drink coffee? Yes, by only after. Uh, yes, but only seldom, not often. Only seldom, not often. Okay, thank you, Wendy. And what about you, uh, Oscar? Do you have the same, the same answer? Um, I have a, no estoy muy seguro realmente de esa. Mm -hmm. What is your opinion? Drink uh, do you ever drink coffee? Yes, but only once a time, no often. Just a few, few times a week. I don't uh -huh. know. Yeah, you could use an expression there if you want to. Other options? Okay. No sé si otros tienen otras ideas? Other options, other groups? But only sometimes. Mm-hmm. Only sometimes. So it depends. It depends. Sometimes. Said. Only sometimes. Not often, only. Uh -huh. Or only a few times. Uh -huh. 
Uh, okay, but it's there already, right? So only let's use uh, seldom, seldom, okay? But yes, the options you mentioned were correct too. Las opciones que usaban también estaban bien. Okay, do you have any comments or questions for me? About the exercise? Doubts? No. Okay, guys. Yolanda? No questions. Okay, so one last activity. One last activity that it's going to be very easy for you. Okay, you can see right now a bonfire. Okay, you can see the bonfire, the sunset, the beach. You have to make a letter. I'm going to write the instructions here. Make, hold on. Make a letter for a loved one. And tell that person activities you do in the beach, okay? You are on vacations and you are at the beach. Okay, you are at the beach and you are going to write a letter. Van a escribir una carta. Para alguien que ustedes amen, a friend, a relative, family member. And tell that person activities, activities you do at the beach. Comentenle con frequency expressions or frequency words, activities that you do in the beach, okay? Is it clear, guys? Or do you have a question? If you don't finish here, you can send me the, the message by chat. Okay, si no terminamos acá, me lo pueden enviar by WhatsApp in the group. Okay, I'm going to be here in case you need me. And I'm going to check the, the sentences, the other sentences in the chat. Okay, voy a revisar para mientras las oraciones que enviaron eh, by chat. So Alfredo Guillem, the, the one about the pupusas is correct. Then Eric, the sentences you sent are correct. Vanessa Carolina, correct. And Vanessa Carranza, correct. Huh? I never eat vegetables. Uh -huh. Haiti, I sometimes drink coffee, correct. He said, I always work on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I sometimes go to the gym. Yes, funny. I never send messages. Uh -huh, Monica, thank you. Kelia, uh -huh. I sometimes drive my car at work, to work. Okay, thank you guys.
Okay, guys, I think that we will have to stop now because it's almost time to go and there's another class coming up at 9 a.m. I'm sorry, 9 p.m. So please send me by chat the letter. You can send it tomorrow if you don't finish uh, today. Si no terminan, me la pueden enviar aún mañana, la pueden postear ahí en el grupo. And I'm, I'm going to give you feedback, okay? But for now, that's going to be all. Tomorrow, we continue practicing frequency expressions. Do you have any comments or questions? Teacher, in the group, uh, uh -huh. the WhatsApp. In the group, by WhatsApp. Yes, Lisette. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, nice to meet you again. I hope you have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night.